guys, Stina Rose here, and welcome back to another episode of Alpha Craft. That's right, we are here at the zoo, at my house, at the zoo, and we've got some friends behind me. I don't remember if I showed these off, but we've got the chicken of knowledge, the pig of encouragement, and the sheep of comfort in plushy form because Santa knew that I wanted them. So thank you, Santa. If I forgot to show this earlier, I wanted to make sure that I showed that, but there's something else. Something else very North Polish going on in this room, and I wanted to show you that. So, uh, yeah, let, 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 let's take a look, because Peppy, I think, has been busy. Peppy says, Peppy knows how to put more step in your parrots. Oh, my goodness. <gasps> look at all the music discs. Oh, this is fabulous. This totally, yeah, th this is going to go down into the, the parrot dance hall area. And snow. Oh, perfect. Thank you so much, Peppy. And thank you, Spider, who works for Peppy, for all the work that you did uh, getting, getting those discs. That was not an easy task. Um, also... Yeah, th there's there's a chest out here too because this <laughs> is my head's order. So not only did we get a special gift from Peppy Mint, but we also got our head order from JJ and from Wild's uh, special head shop. So this is something we're going to do here in just a moment. But before we do that, um, you can see over there I've been busy. Let me take a quick nap. So as you guys know, the last time that I had a video, we were talking about this uh, the snow area and I ran out of snow. Well, I have since done a little bit of grinding and a whole lot of work and um, it's not done. It's not done, but it is started. Got some big ice spikes. I'm, I have started getting some small ice spikes around here. The, the path is in for the most part. Um, and then around here you can see I... I haven't gotten all the, the spikes in. I want to get some more in over here. Um, I even have a little bit of an igloo. It needs to be decorated on the inside. I want to decorate it like the normal igloo would be. So we got an igloo. The path continues this way. Um, I added diorite in as like really cold stone. So it's like a frosted stone and I kind of like it I need to I need to fix it because I was I was trying well what if we put the the stone under like a stone and then diorite I think it needs to be diorite with stone on top instead because I'm trying to transition out of the cold back into the warm up there um, but yeah this is this is the start of the way things are going to be now this path comes up here and kind of dead ends because I need to figure out a entrance that's going to go right here that's going to take us down into the cave exhibit that's that's down below underneath the hill over there so yeah this is this is going to drop down into the earth twist around and end up in the cave exhibit that's going to take a little finagling um but i do like the way that this is looking now the polar bears are going to be here in this area um, so I'm still I'm still working on how do I separate this out so the polar bears don't escape but we can still enjoy them so that's something that I'm still working on not quite sure what that's gonna look like may end up using white glass or uh, blue glass I'm not quite sure um, but have some glass separating the, us from the polar bears. So we can look in, but the polar bears can't get out. The other option would be fences, like we did with the moo, mushrooms, but I think, well, with the mushrooms, we, uh, we use glass as well. So I think glass, glass is gonna be the best option for that. So yeah, that is, that's what's been going on. And I'm gonna be continuing working on that here uh, today. Let's drop off. Yeah, I've, I've done a little bit of grinding for snow myself, uh, but more snow is always, always helpful uh, because I want to add more snow up this hill. Um, the reason why the snow only goes as far as it does is because I ran out. 
<laughs> that plain and simple, I ran out. Oh, but this is looking so, so good. I love it. Let's run over to the, um, yep, Parrot, da Parrot Dance Hall is good. Let's see, we've got, oh, uh, seven, ten? Ten? Okay. I know I want some right here. Maybe, maybe some there. Okay, that looks fabulous. I like that. So we got, we got some of them here across the front and then the rest of them back here for near the DJ, allowing the DJ to like, yeah, pick them up and stuff, you know, as if a sheep could do that. But, you know, we can pretend, we can totally pretend and that's, Fabulous. I like that a lot. A lot, a lot, actually. Yeah. All my parrots. I need to finish naming them after the foods. But, okay, that's good. So that is, that's done. Now let's go back over and let's get decorating the child's room after I kill these squid. All right, we got the, uh, the little heads things in. Um, I did do a little bit of armor stand magic. Um, we've got the Rubik's Cube there on the windowsill. The little house with the car. I did make the car um, miniature by making the armor stand small and then putting it in the, the hand slot. And so it really does kind of match the proportions of the house, which I absolutely love. Put some books on the desk and uh, right over here. The piggy bank is in the closet because you know you don't want everybody to know where you're where you're where you're hiding your your loot, right? Right. <gasps> Speaking of that, you know what I should do? Oh, oh, okay. I need to get an armor stand with like a gold nugget and have the gold nugget sticking out of the top of the piggy bank. Okay, yeah, yeah. That's that's what I need to do. I All right, we got it in. We got the little coin hanging out of the piggy bank. I love it. I love it. That was actually a little bit more difficult to get positioned correctly um, because of where the armor stand ends up being. If I go any further back, it ends up in the wall and then everything goes dark. So this is as far back as I can get it and still have that gold uh, showing. So there we go. We've got, we've got the, the little piggy bank hiding in the cupboard. I, by the way, I do love how cute this little car looks. I mean, that, that's really adorable. I'm, you know, that, that's just adorable. <laughs> that is so, so cute. Love it. Anyway, um, let's go quick, check out the shops and um, see what's going on in Spawn. See if I've got any mail or anything like that, and then we'll come back and work on the ice spikes for the polar bears. Okay, guys, I'm here. I am at uh, at spawn and um, made some diamonds in my shops, but I wanted to show you this. Oh, wow! Just. <gasps> Wow, JJ and Wild, this is crazy, crazy amazing. I mean, wow, wow, this, this area is so much different than when I was on over here last. Such an amazing change. You guys did awesome, just awesome. But yeah, we, we made a couple of diamonds up at uh, Kaboom, and then over at the Flower and Dye shop, we we sold a quite a su substantial amount of ink sacks. So I've already been back and restocked the ink. So we weren't completely sold out, but it was very, very close. Very close. No mail for me right now, so that's a thing. But yep, head back, and let's get back to work. 
All right, I am over here in the gift shop. I've, I've broken in finally and I named Sven and Ingrid. Uh, those were the names that JJ and Wild gave these two. And it is just about time to move them over to their home. Now to do this, I am going to have to have them chase me. And they're gonna to have to chase me quite far. Um, they're gonna to need to chase me around this way Hopefully they don't get pricked on any cactus. They're gonna to need to chase me up and over here, um, down through here. This is gonna be quite the thing and I'm gonna to need to be willing to get hit repeatedly because you know that's kind of what they do. Um, get them to chase me all the way over here. Now the, hopefully my dog doesn't go after them. That would be bad. Um, and then they need to chase me into here. Now the idea here is they can chase me all the way through here. I can escape through this little spot, but they can't. So that's gonna be how we get them into this space. <laughs> I'm a bit nervous, to be honest. I really, really am. I don't like getting chased by mobs that can kill me. <laughs> I really don't like getting chased by mobs that can kill me. Now, with my um, with my gear that I have on, I should be okay. I shouldn't die with the gear that I have on. But you never know. Things can happen. Things can happen in the midst of a chase that you don't anticipate. So we're gonna we're gonna record this. We're gonna hope for the best and we're going to get Sven and Ingrid into their new home. Now I'm planning on doing them one at a time. Now in order to make sure, because, because they're inside of the catnap, in order to make sure that they don't go into the nether, which is totally not what I want them to do, um, I am going to temporarily break the portal. Now can I do this? Just like that. I'm going to temporary, temporarily break the portal. <sighs> All right, guys, you ready? I'm not. I'm not ready. Ready or not? Sven, you're first. Come on, Sven. Yeah, I know, buddy. You're mad at me. You have every right to be mad at me. I just bashed in the face. Come on, buddy. No, you gotta come through. Can you not get through? <gasps> he can't get through. Come on, Sven. Okay, he is still, he is still not my friend. I lost him. Okay, Sven. Did you forget you were mad at me? <sighs> you still can't get through there? Really? This polar bear is going to wreck my face. All right. Well, that tells me something that I didn't rec realize before. Oh, got him. He got too close. Okay. Boy, he is after me. He is like, I am going to hurt you. Now spin. This way, dude. Oof. No, you gotta come down. <sighs> yeah, ouch. That hurts. Come on. Yep, that was it. Come on. 
Can you not get past that spot? Really? Okay, that worked. Come on. Come on, you big, beautiful bear. Yikes! Oh boy! <sighs> Hi Sven! Now I just gotta make wait until he's not mad at me anymore. Oh wow. Okay, he's peaceful again. Time to get Ingrid. Okay, Operation Polar Bear, take two. Alright, Ingrid, come join come join Sven. Oh, she's mad. Come on, Ingrid. Yeah, I know. I know, it's really rude of me. It's really rude of me. I wish there was an easier way to move you guys. If there was, I would have totally done it. But you don't fit in boats. You can't be put on leads. The only way to move you is to smack you in the face. And I'm so sorry, you are moving fast. <sighs> oh, she's mad. Okay. Come on, Ingrid. Oh, she wants to. She wants to let me know how mad she is, too. Ben, don't go outside. Okay, she's still tracking me. As soon as she loses interest, I will wall up the area. Sven is right next to that. No, Sven, no! Sven, no! Oh, guys, we gotta get Sven back in. Sven! No, Sven, no, no! Man, Ingrid's done being upset with us, but now we gotta hit Sven again. Man. <laughs> Ingrid, you stay in, okay? This is stressful. Okay. Broke line of sight. I think he's done being mad at me. And there we go. We have the polar bears in their exhibit. They can wander around in there all that they want and they can't get out. Now we can go in and visit them um, by coming through here, but they can't get out through there. So that's fabulous okay so the polar bears are in the next thing i want to do is get this um igloo decorated out like a, an igloo would look when you find it in the overworld you're not mad at me still right okay <laughs> we're all good we are all good all right i've uh, done a little bit more work and i've actually completely run out of the, the packed ice. So I'm out of packed ice again. So yeah, I've, I've spent as many diamonds as I feel like spending at uh, Frill and Dibs shops to buy ice. Um, if I do any more, I'm probably going to 
run out of diamonds. So I'm going to have to go go actually harvest pack dice myself. Not a big deal, um, but I am liking the way that this is looking. Ended up fixing the hill over there, got it built up even further, and I do like how that looks. Uh, also got the interior of the igloo finished, um, designed like a regular vanilla structure igloo would, would show up as. Uh, and the nice thing about this is there is a little bit of a bed, so if it becomes night and people are wandering through the zoo, they can sleep there uh, to bring the night away. So yeah, this is this is what we have going on so far, and it is almost night, so may end up taking advantage of that myself here very soon. Um, I wanted to take a moment to talk about the comment of the day, and there's a whole bunch of stuff in here because we're going to do one more thing before we finish up today's episode. But the comment of the day is from Susie, and Susie says, seat paired stance always makes me giggle, and I can completely understand that. It makes me giggle too. And the path and the boardwalk look really good, as does the wolf exhibit. Thank you. I like the way that they um, they turned out. It's easy to underestimate how many resources are needed for a project. So she's not surprised I ran out of snow, among other things, because now I'm out of ice. Have snow, now I don't have the ice. No big deal. I think that's what we're going to do on stream tonight. Um, tell Dibs and Frill that, they are, that they're paying too much attention to the feud and not enough to business. <laughs> to quit, quit slacking. Yeah, I could tell them that, but you know, they're just going to continue. I wonder if you've thought about putting some bats in the area next to the chicken of knowledge where the flat wall is. Just a thought. Thanks for the fun. And again, this is from Susie. Um, that's from last episode. So the question is, have I thought about putting bats on this flat wall? And the, the answer is no, I didn't think about bats, but there was something that I did want to put on this flat wall. See right here we've got this nice flat spot and something is begging to go there. So what I want to do here instead of bats, because I've got a different idea for bats, I want to put a map of the zoo. So as people, I know I have one right up over there by the gate, but if people are coming through and maybe they're going around the zoo the other direction, um, they want to know where they are. So I'm thinking a, a map right here on this wall will be a good idea. So that's why I have all of this stuff in my pockets to make a map of the zoo. So let me do that real quick and then we will, I'll show you what we've done and we'll say, we'll finish off the episode. So see you in a moment. Well guys, that's gonna be it for me today. As you can see, we've got the map behind us on the wall. Uh, those maps are gonna be spread out throughout the, the zoo so that visitors can see where they are, what, what other um, exhibits are coming up for them and so that they don't miss out on their favorite mob. But that's going to be, that. I don't have time to do more. This, this has taken longer than I anticipated, and I really, really, really want to get this episode out to you guys before stream tonight so you can see what's going on and uh, figure out how we got to be where we are. Don't forget to leave me a like and a comment if you enjoyed this video. You might just be the next comment of the day. And don't forget to check out their other the other alphas. Their links are in the description. Oh! I can't believe that I forgot to mention this. Welcome to the server. We have a new member of the server. We have 80 Craft has joined us. Um, I hear that they are here because of the chicken of knowledge. And I'm not sure what the chicken has planned for 80 Craft, but yeah, the chicken says that 80 has to be here and we don't uh, argue with the chicken. The chicken knows. Chicken's also taking a bath. <laughs> anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one. Bye now.